Hello everyone and welcome to my Unreal Shadow series. My name is Michael Gerard and I'm technical with Technologies. During this course, I will show you step by step how to create an automatic landscape shader from scratch. We will start by breaking the far texture repetition with the distance-based texture size logic. Thanks to this logic, the transition zone between near and far resolution can be controlled. After this first logic, let's work on the automatic slope system. Don't waste any more time painting rock on slopes. With just a few parameters, you can control the rock angle. To improve and increase the complexity of the viewing distance, we will add a color variation and an additional normal map. Because optimization is really important, let's set the virtual runtime texture that will help you bake your different layers attribute into a single texture. It's easy enough to spread vegetation on the terrain. But thanks to a mask, it's easier to achieve a more organic result. As you probably know, tessellation is no longer available in shaders on UE5. But thanks to the parallax occlusion mapping, we can achieve a convincing depth effect. In addition, learn how to add shadows to your parallax occlusion mapping and get a more realistic result. But be aware, this feature is really heavy. This course is designed to be accessible whatever your skill level. I show every step and do nothing off the camera. And for the first time in my content, you can follow only the video or access to the source project. If, like me, you are keen to take part of this program, then I'll see you soon.